The Mumbles Railway was the first passenger railway service in the world. It was built in 1804 and 1805 for industrial purposes and it was originally horse-drawn. It would transport materials such as limestone from the quarry at Mumbles to Swansea and beyond. It carried its first passengers in 1807. In this video, I'm asking the questions. What memories do locals in the community share about the Mumbles Railway? Why was the Mumbles Railway cancelled? And will it ever come back? When I was in school, I loved learning about the Mumbles Railway. It's a bit of local history that's always appealed to me. But for years, I couldn't understand why did it ever close? Having the Mumbles Railway today would be incredible. It would help ease the congestion problem on the Mumbles Road, help encourage people to swap the car for the tram, a tram that is electric, solve the parking problem at Mumbles. The money it could bring into the local economy through tourism, the potential new businesses that could set up along the railway, cafes, souvenir shops, creating more jobs for locals. But this is simply my opinion. Others may say the cost of the railway won't outweigh the benefits. I met with a few locals to chat about their memories of the Mumbles Railway. What was it like as a young boy being on the Mumbles Railway? It was very nice, very modern. It's just like an ordinary, as it is today, a bus, like a bus ride, you know. And you can set your watches by it. You can see it coming up from the pier to take you into town. The workers' trains in the morning, they're so packed, you could cut the atmosphere. Everybody smoke it, you can imagine that in those days, pipes, uh, cut square to get in. <laughs> and uh, you had to watch what seat you sat in. People used to get on, regulars would get on, at various stops all the way up, particularly at West Cross. It was a very busy station then. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Gwen. What was it like as a young girl going on the Mumbles train? I hear you used to take it to go to school. Oh, yes. And the, the men on Mumbles Railway were wonderful because if I was a bit late coming down, they'd wait for me. And they were the most wonderful men. And they helped you on and off and looked after you. They, were, they, they knew us so well, but I wasn't naughty like that or rude like that. I always tried to be on time, <laughs> so I'm always, you know, but uh, I, I wasn't one that would be, or my father wouldn't allow me. I had to behave myself, believe it or not. <laughs> Do you have any memories you'd like to share about going on the Mumbles Railway? Oh, I was always jumping on it. I was on the... On the on the play, uh, train. It was only around the corner for me. I had to go down the road, round the corner. There was a little cafe there and I was always there because I was always playing with my friends and they were right opposite. There was a where you get to pay to go to to go on the train. That was there. And so they had there was two houses living next door and they were my two best friends. And we'd we we was always on the train. Get on the train take us anywhere. My new one never paid. That was the secret. <laughs> I'd sneak in and when when he came, he comes around now with another, I'd be looking out to the window, so I never paid. They stopped at every stop. Black pill everywhere. And in black pill then, they don't have it now. It used to be all full of blackberries. You can get up there. You can get up and help yourself and go down the members of Drizzlebury. What was it like when you were um, going to work and stuff? Did you use it much yourself for work? Oh, I used it every day for work. I, up in the morning, and cause I had no transport of my own then, so Mumbles train was a thing. I'd be in with a box of tools, joiners tools, like that, like that. And the stuff that you see carried on the train, you wouldn't believe it. Somebody came home one day, I was coming home, and you could hear the conductor, oh no, there's Joe Bloggs again. He was carrying a ladder. And he said, you can't bring that on the train. Oh yes we can, he said. You watch this. Everybody feet up and underneath the seats. 
the ladder went. Yeah, apparently he was a regular. <laughs> but that's the sort of thing that went on. It was so handy, you know. You, you talk a lot about um, the men and how lovely they were. Were there any regulars or like characters that you'd see when you used to go? A, a couple of them, yes. And yeah. um, some of them lived in Mumbles. Most of them did. Yes. And they were, they didn't pretend to be anything. They were absolutely marvellous. But uh, we loved them, of course. Of course, with there was quips and they were great. And we'd all fight to get in the, the round seat in the front, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, it was wonderful. It was the saddest thing when it went. In your opinion, why did the Mumbles Railway close? Because Swansea City Council wanted the land and they just didn't want to run it. South Wales Transport, who were running at the time, said they were losing money left, right and centre. You see, so they wanted to close it. But what nobody knows, that the bogies for the trains, they had new bogies up in the depot still in their boxes. And they was making more money than all the buses in the local area. And that's why they closed it. Just greed on somebody's part. Mm. And the way they went about it, was disgusting. The, um, there were so many people against the closure because it was recognised as a good transport. Um, there was petition after petition. And there were three solicitors and barristers representing the objectors. Now on the morning of the inquiry, everybody was talking and concerned. Are you, they put all injections now to one barrister to make it quicker and easier. And he said, are you sure you're still fighting it? Yes, he said, we're still fighting the closure. He said, we don't want it closed, blah, blah, blah. So the inquiry starts. And the chairman of the inquiry says, what are your objections to closure? Barrister stands up and says, we've got no objections. End of story. End of the Mumbles Railway. Couldn't go any further than that then. And that was it. And of course, if it was still running then, if they kept it running, it'd be running today. And people say, well, isn't it going to be fenced off for health and safety? They don't do it in Blackpool where they got the trains on the drain, on the pavement, do they? You know. So if they brought it back, no, of course, it'd all have to be fenced off. But there was talk of a monorail. But it never took off. You know. We'll have to wait and see, as they say. Do you remember when the railway closed at all? Do you remember the moment and how did that make you feel? I, why well, I remember it was closed. Because when I was going to get off, they stopped me and they never had the picture. And they took my photo. They took a lot, but they took me on my own. But I've never ever seen that photo. But I was the last one getting off. I can tell you that. I was only a little, because I was not all that, but I was the last one getting off. In your opinion, Gwen, why do you think the Mumbles Railway closed? It should never have gone. I don't know how. I th don't think it was... Well, I went to the last train in Widow's Weeds. <laughs> and uh, because none of us wanted to see the end of it. It's the worst thing that ever happened. And that was a councillor, I believe, councillors in Swansea. But uh, no, Mumbles people didn't want it to go. I mean, I wasn't Mumbles born, but my husband was. And I feel I belong here. You know, it's... But you imagine if we had the railway now? Wouldn't it be wonderful? And they used to put a double train on on bank holidays and days and, and the amount of people was phenomenal, really was. The other thing was South Wales Transport, who owned the train, owned the buses, they also had a grant to make new buses because they got rid of the trains. So they had buses for free. Is there any memorabilia that you could show me from when yeah. you used to go on the Mumbles Railway? Oh, yeah. I brought some memorabilia down which you can have a look at and photo. I didn't bring the big train down, my mother, but I brought a small 
my working models down so you can have a look at. Do you have any interesting um, stories about the kind of characters that used to go on the Mumbles Railway? Do you remember any any of them? There were people who were very, very nice on the train, yeah. They were nice. We all had to chat, we all got to know each other. Yeah, it was nice. The train was on, see mine. Because we're just better on the down in down London in no time. Catch your bus, catch the train and back. And we didn't have far to go, we were coming back either. You know, once we get up the off of the train, and you're up and around the corner, that's all I did. There's Garden Street and Thomas Street. Look at Garden Street, then Thomas Street. Go down, just around the corner. If the Mumbles Railway was here today, what impact do you think it would have on Mumbles and Swansea? Well, for a start, it would take half the traffic off the Mumbles Road because it never stops the train, see, and nothing will stop it, no traffic or anything. So it would be a boon to the tourists and everything like that. It would bring a lot of extra holiday makers in because they come down just for the ride on the train, you know, to the pier. You know, it was. Uh, in the heyday in the summer, it was packed out. Now, I don't suppose you've heard about the, the slipway. The oh, Mumbles yeah. train used to pull the boats up. If you go down there, there's a steel ring right between the end of the track. And of course, the boat would be pulling up. And the ropes would be across the road. The train couldn't go anywhere. So they tie the train to the ropes and pull the boat up. And then, of course, once it's across the track, metal on metal, it just slide along to where they push it off. It's amazing. It's amazing what I used, you know. Is there anything else now that you'd like to say that you feel viewers at home may like to hear? You mentioned the round table and the atmosphere on the railway. Is there anything else you'd like to say on that? Well, it was a company. Right, yeah. Because one knew everyone who was coming up from Mumbles or when we were going back down to Mumbles, you felt safe. And, and you knew everyone, and everybody was friendly with... I never knew any quarrelling. There was nothing like that. You know, everybody just got on with what they had to do and get about their business. And that was it. But it was such a lovely way to do it, wasn't it? I mean, oh, and I think about it now, I, I feel very sad about it. Before I finish, Mary, is there anything else you'd like to tell me now that you feel people watching this would like to hear? Every stop you can think of was there. You name it, we had it. And now nothing. And I tell you what, the beach was, it was lovely years ago. You have the swings, you can go on the swings. And um, there was a big cafe on the sands. And my auntie used to work in there. Oh, there's a lot of things lots of things and people then used to be sitting and um, fetching all the tables little bit and sell food if we went you know if they wanted any you can buy it just ordinary people fetch it fetch your own and they'll sell it man coming around then with ice cream just be on the beach all the time is there anything you want to say now regards to the Mumbles tram and railway that you don't think you've already said, that you think would be really interesting for people to know about? It's been my life. And as you know, I've had an exhibition in Tabernacle Hall for 10, 12 years. I did have it anyway. And uh, I just love it. You know, it's part of Mumbles, part of me. Yeah. It's been so nice to reflect on a bit of history about the Mumbles Railway and to hear the amazing stories from John, Mary and Gwen. I think it's important to hear these stories as it helps to paint a picture today of what the Mumbles Railway used to be like. They tell stories about the kind of characters, the people that would use the railway, information that you simply cannot find online. Thank you to all of them and thank you for watching. Will the railway ever make a comeback? Who knows?